And as we've learned firsthand in our area, it can strike with deadly consequences. That's why researchers are rolling out a state-of-the-art lightning detection system. And as they showed me, this is one of the newest pieces of technology saving lives across the country. On June 3rd, 2009, as severe weather approached Fredericksburg, a Little League baseball game in the area was called. As the players left the field, lightning struck, killing a 12-year-old. In 2010, a man was struck and killed at an outdoor event in Rockville. The same day, another man was hit and killed while riding a jet ski in Annapolis. And one of the most devastating lightning strikes in this region happened in 1991. A single bolt of lightning struck 12 people taking shelter under a stand of trees at a Landon St. Albans lacrosse game. A 15-year-old Landon student was killed and 11 others were injured. Could lightning-related tragedies like these be prevented? Our weather bug partners are working to do just that. They're installing lightning detection systems at outdoor venues across the region and worldwide. These provide advance warning of approaching storms, producing lightning, so people can get to safety before lightning strikes. Lightning can travel over 10 miles, and therefore you, know, you have to be able to give people that advance warning. The system is in place at more than 100 local venues, including Congressional Country Club in Bethesda, where lightning detection monitors are scattered throughout the property. We have size rings around our property uh, that give us the opportunity to see if it's a 6-mile lightning strike, a 10-mile lightning strike, or a 15-mile lightning strike. When a lightning strike is detected within an 8 or 10-mile radius, sirens go off to warn golfers to take shelter. As soon as that siren goes off, we mobilize our staff, our team, our marshals, course advisors. We jump in our four-seaters and six-seaters, and we ride the course. We pick up the walkers. Lightning deaths are the most common in summer, particularly in July, when an average of 16 people are killed nationwide. But recent statistics show an encouraging trend. The annual death rate from lightning is dropping, which could be due in part to technology like this. Now let's take that technology and rubber stamp it across the world, make sure that tens of thousands of people each year aren't dying from lightning. And Jackie, this story is perfect timing because across the nation next week is Lightning Awareness Week. Lightning right. Safety Awareness Week. Good timing. Yeah, that. i got to remember, if you can hear it, it can hit you. Absolutely. Well, still to come here on Surviving Severe Weather.